Your Majesty, uh, King Graham. Oh, uh, yes, Minister um... Gervain, sire. Of course. My apologies, Gervain. Not necessary, Your Majesty. After all, I've been your security and defense minister for but a short while. Yes. Where did you say you were from again? Just some small, insignificant land to the far south. Pales greatly in comparison to your realm, my lord. Ah. Do you have something to report? As a matter of fact, my liege, there's a small concern regarding the duty shifts of some of the castle guards and of the countryside patrols. Also, we are expecting our armed entourage from our nearest neighbor to return within the week. And there is the matter of an alliance with... My liege? My apologies again, Minister Gervain. Please, continue. Yes. As I was saying, there is the matter of an alliance with Usperia. They have become a strong nation now and it may be prudent to show our willingness to support them, lest they decide we are more of a hindrance than a help. Does the king there have any daughters who've come of age? Uh, I do not believe so, sire. As for the security arrangements for the royal ball held last week, I do believe the evening went by very smoothly. I dare say just about every princess in this region attended, and not one last slipper, to coin a phrase. Ugh. Please, do not remind me. Indeed, they were none too fetching. Would you like me to go over your plans for today, my lord? Very well. Hmm? Oh, forgive me once again. I am afraid that my mind wanders much these days. I wonder if my predecessor experienced times like these. No doubt. Though I did not know King Edward the Benevolent personally, I understand he was a happy and astute man during his married life, before his wife passed away, that is. If I may be so bold, perhaps my lord is feeling that certain rooms in his castle are somewhat sparsely filled, the throne room, for example, and other rooms that serve but a single soul, like your dining room and your bed chambers. <laughs> Perhaps, but I do fear I've met no such candidates that would fill the rooms you have mentioned. You should not lose heart, your majesty. If you pause to reflect for but a moment, you may see clearly what is hidden to others.
you gaze into the mirror, the minister's words seem to echo in your head. If you pause to reflect for but a moment, not that you've been doing much else lately. For many weeks now, you've been reflecting over the direction your life has taken. While Daventry has prospered under your wise leadership, so far your existence has been a dreadfully lonely one. Wait, the mirror is changing. As you watch, you begin to see a series of images, though you struggle to fathom their meaning. You recognize the landscape. It is Kalima, a land not far from Daventry. You see the most beautiful woman you have ever set eyes upon. Somehow you can feel her sadness and her intense desire to leave that place. She is a prisoner in that tower. Did you find what you were looking for, sire? I require my ship ready for transport, Gervain. I shall be going on a trip presently. Indeed. Where shall I tell the captain you'll be heading? To Kalima. I have to find someone. I see. Well, if you must go, it is my duty to ensure that you leave prepared. Arm yourself, sire. I hear Kalima is not the safe haven it once was. Of course. I shall take the sword of the first king, as is my right. A wise precaution, sire. And, uh, if I may be so brash to ask, who might you be seeking? If all goes well, my bride. Sister Agatha. How may I be of service? An opportunity has arisen, sister. I trust you still have your captive held securely away. Of course. A bit cruel, keeping her locked away like that. Do you not think? No. How dare she flaunt her beauty in front of all to see? Her foolish male admirers see her and forget that I was the most beautiful of all in my day. And in your own special way, you are still beautiful. <laughs> you devil! That is not an unfair description. Now, you mentioned a service, I believe. Yes. The King of Daventry has advised his faithful minister that he shall be departing for Kalima presently. On a quest, you might say. Really? What kind? The kind that involves sticking his neck out to rescue a damsel in distress. And what have I to do with his neck? Put simply, my dear, sever it! 